it's important for us to know when we're getting triggered. But I believe, as a spiritual person, that we believe in spirit. So we have the ability to tell that spirit to go away. Encouraging, supporting people to say it's okay to heal and that it's okay to ask for help. I believe that we don't talk enough about the issues that impacts my community. Um, we have sexual violence, we have mental health issues, we have chemical health issues, we have addiction issues that, that really impacts our community. Um, I believe there's not enough research in regards to violence against Two-Spirit people. One of the things that I know of is that people have dehumanized Two-Spirit Native LGBTQ people. So we need to humanize how we view Two-Spirit people. Because they're just like everybody else, they have feelings. What it is, is just an attraction of the same sex. That's, that's all it is. So one of the things I want to talk about is, is the fact that I didn't know my identity as a Native person and a Two-Spirit person until probably about 10, 12 years ago. I never knew the term Two-Spirit. And for me, the term Winkta, which is my cultural term for my tribe, um, I grew up thinking and believing that it was a derogatory term. My dad, my biological father, um, blames himself. I mean, he believed that if he would have raised me, I would have never turned out to be Winkta. Hmm. I would say probably about four years ago um, is when I really started to do two-spirit work. Um, but I would have to say probably about three years ago is when I started challenging people's thoughts in regards to uh, sexual violence that happens to Two-Spirit people. Um, like I said, I don't think that there was enough people that would talk about it. So I would go to these conferences um, and I would get up and say, why are you not talking about the Two-Spirit people? Um, what you're talking about also happens with this population. One of the things that I like to do is I like to credit Muzak. Um, they were the first organization to step up and say, we need to talk about the Two-Spirit Native LGBTQ community. Um, they approached me and asked me if I would be willing to do a presentation and to talk about the issues that impact the Two-Spirit community. So with my consulting work and with the work that I that I do with Two-Spirit People, um, we were able to create an educational booklet um, and, and to create that change. And after that, other organizations followed. I think about what a spiritual man told me um, a couple years ago. He said, our Two-Spirit People are coming. And he said, they are taking their traditional roles in their community. So for me, to have a spiritual man say that to me is very powerful. And it really helped me to embrace myself even more. My only concern is that, you know, we live in a, we live in a urban setting. We can easily create change. What I worry about is how are we going to create change in our rural tribal communities?